All right, <clears throat> let's analyze this task. Jaime is going to bake seven batches of cookies. Each batch requires three-fourths cup of butter. How many cups of butter will Jaime need to bake all seven batches of cookies? So if you notice here, here's an example of what a student might come up with, but I wanna talk about the strategies that also they're gonna share as they involve with the mathematics. So one of the things that some students may do is they're going to count by unit fractions. So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, because that's where they're comfortable at four fourths, five fourths, right? All the way till they get to 21 fourths. And that's perfectly fine because at least we know that they have some understanding of unit fractions, right? I would want to work about around what they know in order to build about what comes next. Other children might think about this as, you know what? I can just count, skip count by three fourths, which is a little bit more efficient when they start seeing that it's three fourths. So they might do a skip count by three fourths, three fourths, six fours, nine fours, 12 fours, 15 fours, 18 fours, and 21 fours, right? And then Right, so that's a more advanced um, strategy based on what they notice. Other children might consider compensating. So they'll grab this one fourth and do this, this one fourth and add it here, and this one fourth and add it here. So one is gone, right? Because they shared it. And then they're going to compensate for this one fourth and add it here. And this one fourth and add it here. So if we count our holes, we'll have one hole, two, three, four, five, and the one fourth that's left, so it's five and one fourth, right? Many students are not going to come up with the algorithm initially if we just give them seven times three fourths. It's not in, it's not in their mathematics to really understand that concept, so we don't want to push that algorithm first. But if we do see this, right, and we eventually want to take it to something like this, then we could start using number bonds to build holes. So for example, in 21 fours, we want them to understand that four fours makes one hole, four fours makes another hole, four fours makes another hole. I'm up to 12 fours now, right? Four fours, another hole. I'm up at 16, four fours, it's another hole. I'm up to 20 and now I'm one fourth left. So I also have here one, two, three, four, five, five and one fourth. And this is a great way to teach our students how to convert a proper greater, a fraction greater than one into a mixed number, as you can see by just chunking out holes initially. Teaching them the 21 divided by four is not meaning much to them because they're still developing their fraction sense. So working with models, decomposing the fractions into holes really allows them to work with the mathematics, right? Hope you like this video, thank you.